Happy birthday. I joined the police in 1984. Uh, now it's 216. This is my 32, 32, 32 years in the police force. And I have about uh, Two years more to go. Do you say that being the DIG yeah. is your toughest uh, job so far in your career? I'm not suffer as the most challenging force. No? The, the most challenging force? It's challenging for us so far. Why yeah. is that? Why is it? Because uh, I, I'm, I'm not uh, restricted to one field anymore. You know? and when I was in CID, my focus is on the drug traffickers and the drug problems. You know? But now as a DIG, I have to care of the crime also. I have to take care of, uh, of the drug problems. I have to look into these training problems. Mm -hmm. I have to look into these disciplinary problems. Mm -hmm. I have to bring new ideas, mm -hmm. new innov innovation and new ideas for us. Mm -hmm. What are new area for us, uh, new area in the field of security, new products for us to give to the public, for us to serve the public. So, so it, it, it needs a lot of thinking, it needs a lot of reading, it, it needs a lot of a learning process. So I have myself have to learn and at the same time I got to deliver and at the same time I got to lead. At that particular time, the police force is uh, I'm saying it's quite uh, reactive. What people you know, in this new economic world, they want us to be more pro proactive. They want us to be able to prevent crime rather than to solve crime. No? So we re-strategize our ways. And then uh, we see by uh, somewhere uh, in early 2000, we refocus. Uh, from solving of crime into more proactive measures. That means uh, we started to adopt what we call the, the community policing today. Mm -hmm. Engaging with people, telling the people, uh, in the, trying to get the people to work together with the police force. Uh, and we still continue with the policy still today. Um, as a DIG, um, I have a responsibility to ensure that the police force remains relevant at all times. Number two, being respected by the people. How to make this happen? You know? I have to ask myself, have we performed the best of, to the best level, to the best of our ability? Is there any room for improvement? We are an intelligence. We ha must be proactive. Proactive in the sense that people don't come to the wildlife police and report uh, about drug traffickers. Uh, the most people will call and send uh, letters, that, that, that's anonymous letters. No? Mm -hmm. Then we have to be sensitive enough uh, uh, to react what we hear, what we see, what people tell us. So, so in this sense, we don't wait for people, we go out no? as a deputy IGP. My key role is to support the IGP in terms of ideas, in terms of management. So we don't have problems. Would you say there's a lot of respect then? Yes, of course. I got to respect him uh, as the number one. And I too, I'm really respected by him also, as his deputy. So I don't have problem at all. Any arguments of any kind? Uh, professional uh, discussion, professional argument at times, yes. It happens everywhere. But uh, still, we are together. And I know my job is to support him. My job is to support my, my IGP. Of course, we have different ideas, but we must be able to consolidate. I think I made the right choice when I joined the police force. Uh, the police force have teach me a lot of things. Have teaches me how to serve people. Have teaches me to be a very strong, to have a very strong character, to have a very strong definition, uh, determination. Uh, it teaches me to very, to persevere in whatever you do. You must be strong enough to face whatever problems, as yes, we have a lot of problems. 
And I think uh, the police force taught me to be a man, uh, to be a responsible citizen. And, uh